Welcome to Good Mythical More. Are you looking for a way to spice up your Thanksgiving? And not with food, but with some weird activity that makes it seem like it's even more of a holiday than it ever was? Well, you come to the right place. We're gonna rank these new Thanksgiving traditions. But first, we're going to give a quick quarterly report on our latest endeavor, Jingle Mingle, a dating service for mall elves. Uh, uh, it's, uh, you know what? We have a very small but dedicated uh, user base. Yeah, I think the thing that we didn't understand was that uh, most elves are asexual. Right. We didn't know that. But, um, but that they're but, really focused on toy making, but cooking making. But the thing making. is, is that's okay because you can just, I mean, you still wanna spend time with people. That's what we thought, but they're also very isolationist. Oh, yeah, yeah. well. You've been looking at different analytics than me. Elves are a hard clientele to uh, to please. Mm. But they're not hard. Right. To, yeah, nope. yeah, 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 yeah. That's, but they're never pleased. Yeah, that tends to be the problem. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's like uh, I used to be really focused on toys too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sex, I, sex I, came a little bit late. I was for an you adolescent. Too. Yeah. I was a late bloomer, but I'm no longer. I've started collecting some toys again. Um, Okay. What kind of toys? Um, uh, rapper action figures. <laughs> I do have a- Don't invite me over. Yeah, I do have it. well- Don't invite me over to play with those. I'm not gonna, well, well not, you would invite me over as a to kid- be, They're to, to be play, displayed. To play with your wrestling figures and then you wouldn't let me touch them. Yeah, because you were too rough with I them. I was like, they're made of rubber and they're made to wrestle. And you were like, no, no, they're made to put in the ring and look at. I will say that sometimes Mythical Beast tweets pop up in my Twitter timeline and um, someone tweeted the, the photo of your action figures that are behind you on the filing cabinet and mm -hmm. said, these are gonna be fun. Huh. And I, I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this for, is an for ominous. Wrestling. I don't know what that That's what they're gonna do with them. Exactly actually. for wrestling. These are gonna be fun. Okay. <laughs> okay. Does it? Does it? Do are there instructions on the back on how to remove them from your anus? <laughs> My anus specifically? Yeah. <laughs> That's a new game. You know, we we just launched a puzzle, but now we're gonna launch a. It's like operation, but it's it's what emergency doctors have to do everywhere. And if you talk to any emergency doctor, you've talked to all of them, and all they like to talk about is you wouldn't believe what I pulled out of a butt this week. Right. Because um, you won't believe what you can get in a butt. <laughs> nope. And I think that's a game. I think that's an adult version of operation that that we need to start oh. boxing up and and selling for 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 Black Friday. But we're still in Thanksgiving, so it's just a butt. And then a bunch of toys? That's what the game is? Uh, it's not just toys, it's anything you anything, can think of. Anything, anything. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, so, and the map can do the, the sound effects for it. Turkey hunt, we're gonna rank all of these. This one's starting in number one, it's the only one we have. What would be a turkey hunt during Thanksgiving? These are actual this... things people are doing? No, I don't think so. I think these are writer writer ideas of possible oh. traditions. So it says turkey hunt. A dad dresses up like a turkey, and oh. the kids have to chase after him in a game of tag. First kid to catch dad gets five dollars, or a parent, <laughs> or a parent. You know. Yep. Any yep. parent. Guardian. Yep. Let's just say guardian. It could be a grandparent. <clears throat> it could be an uncle. Let's just I mean, I get, those aren't parents. Any uh, any trusted person who's passed a background check. You're adult. That's what they say. You're um, adult now. I don't. There's not. There's not quite enough to this one. I mean, do you, do you get to carve, Dad? Like what? Well, or what? or he could be wearing like or the, they could be wearing feathers, like uh like um what's the football uh, flag football? You had yep. to pull a feather. You pull all the feathers off yeah. of the, of the, the turkey. The most yeah. feathers. And then when you get the last feather, he falls over, and then you... You, uh, you slice him open. He, then you burn him. <laughs> you cook him. You cook him. You deep fry dad. I don't uh, know. No, does this happen before or after dinner? Mm. 
It could be a workout. Turkey hunt to work off the the turkey. Turkey. Hunt. I'm not. I'm not loving it's this. It's too one. cold. This is not most Thanksgiving locales. Mm-hmm. This one. I'm. I'm finding I don't want to use my birthday gift of making you shut your pie hole yet. Yep. You got to make. Um, oh, you want Rich me to talk more? Pie hole. I. I guess okay. you're not. You're not disappointed that I won, are you? No. Maybe no, a little I'm bit. very proud of you. Yeah. Hide and seek the keys. Tell us about this, Stevie. The kids hide the adults' keys, and the adults have to find them. <laughs> this, I, I this play sucks. this game already. I hate it. Well, you play it with yourself. You, you. Pl- I play this game with myself, but I always choose to play it when I need to be somewhere. Yep. And it's very frustrating. So, do you not have a key, a key place? <clears throat> I've solved it now. I have. I keep my keys attached up your butt. Up my butt to my. T- <laughs> it would work because my key doesn't have to go in the uh, ignition. I don't have an ignition in my car. Just push push the start. You just oh yeah, it's a proximity thing. So you keep up your butt all day. Yeah, yep. You keep your you can keep your fob in your butt. Just just only two times a day, maybe three. I'd need to take it out. <laughs> oh, you don't think you could poop around it? Nope. You can probably, probably figure out a way. That's two, that's two times a day. That's two. That's our other game. How do you? That, that's an episode. We're gonna be selling a key. Can we? We're gonna be selling a key fob that you can poop around. store and seeing uh, with instructions that talk about how to poop around it. I just think it. <laughs> we we've put a chain. A we cha- need to put those instructions on everything we sell. I guess the action figures. If you put this in your butt, here's how you poop around it. Yeah. Well, I think it's. You, oh, that's so bad. You bury it. That's the worst thing I've ever said. Why didn't you shut me up, Stevie? I yeah, know, I'd love you have the to. power. <laughs> keep keep telling her how it works. Well, I'll give you a couple ideas for how you can poop around something. I think it has a chain. One that, is you just put you you poop on one side and keep the other item on the other side. That, that's not that's no impossible. no. I can I can poop on one side if I lay on my side. Yeah yeah yeah. Um, your butthole's that big. No, it's just called gravity. Okay, I think you should attach a, a chain to it higher up in your duodenum, and then it, then it, it's you swallow it and it has this chain, right? And, <laughs> and you and when you so poop, it's a lip ring. You poop, you hold it, right? You got to tug on it a little bit. <laughs> so when you poop, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> why aren't you stopping him, Stevie? I, I'm, I'm He's saying so you, many things. I'm giving you every opportunity to shut me up. She likes it too much. I like it. <laughs> she likes I don't it. Know why? <laughs> Hide and seek the keys. Yeah, we well, figured it out. It's just a long chain. This is this is worse. This is worse than that one because it's not even Thanksgiving themed. Yeah, I hate that. Um, what is find the lucky porcelain shard? Ooh. <laughs> this is. <laughs> Find the shard of broken porcelain hidden in the gravy. Winner gets to keep the gravy boat. Wow. That's good. So there's a porcelain shard. Is it from the gravy boat or from the pre- previous year's gravy boat that got broken? <laughs> the previous year has been <laughs> clarified to me. Yeah. <laughs> previous year. For this game. And and I think maybe when you win it. the previous year. Maybe the previous years. Because I, I think when you win... Um, you break the the new what's it called gravy boat, and then one of those shards goes into it next year, so it becomes you know a tradition in that way. Uh, this is a little bit like finding the dime and the black eyed peas. My grandma would actually do that. The New Year's Eve tradition. Yeah, a dime though. She would put a dime in there, and whoever found it was going to make a lot of money the next year. Ten cents. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I like this. Yeah, because it's more dangerous. It's dangerous. It's fun. I don't think you could poop around a glass it, shard. It keeps going year shard. to year. Um, and it's just so wild. I love it. I'm going to put it at number two. And do you because, find it in your mouth? But when you, How do you find it? Preferably you find it in your mouth. Yeah, you'd spit Does it. Does everyone get a sieve? It's like gem mining. It's when you're pouring out. That's when you pour fun. Out, yeah, you pour the gravy into a sieve. Yeah. And then you look and you see if the shard's in there. Yeah, I like that. So that's yeah, but, safer. But then you are going to find it. 
Well, you somebody's know, going. You got to know when is it going to plop out on somebody's turkey. Yeah. And I think that's fine. I put gravy on stuffing too. All right, so we're putting that at number two. Uh, quick reminder before we get to the next one. We dropped an amazing little sub-series over on the Mythical Society to learn how to survive the apocalypse from an actual uh, survival expert. Yep. Matter of fact, um, I wasn't even there. <laughs> so if you're if you're in the content that I'm not in, I was sick, and um, but I I did a killer voiceover for you it. You did. Stevie and Rhett went out and learned all the aspects of uh, apocalyptic survival. Um, throwing knives, you got to do that. I found a new hobby. Did you get? Did you buy one? Uh, Bow and arrow. I'm actually. I'm Archery. actually planning to go this weekend to get one. Nice. Mm -hmm. Is that right? You gonna buy a bow and arrow? Yes, I am. It's okay. really fun. All right, yeah. check it out. Yeah. Yes, yeah! Yeah! Hell yeah! That's, thick. That's right. I'm so, I don't like it. Sorry, I just don't Listen, like it. Listen, you can't be apologizing to the zombies. Okay. You can't okay. be saying okay. I don't like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're gonna sense your weakness. It's <laughs> the next one. But uh, hottest, butter melting hottest time contest. we've ever had, by the way. And by hot, I don't mean like sexiest time. I right. mean quite, it was so hot. And the thing is, is that I was you, pretty cool. when you watch it, the heat never transfers. I always say that. I'm like, man, it was so hot out there. And you watch it and you're like, oh, just like a sunny day. Yep. But you don't know what we were going through. No, I don't. I wasn't there. Butter melting contest. What's that? Everyone puts a pad of butter on their tongue. The first to melt it completely wins. That's cool. Uh, what if you just swallow it and then then say you, you melted it? Well, you forfeit. I mean, you gotta keep the tongue out the whole time. Oh, the tongue's out? Ha ha, ha ha. I don't- just breathe hot air on it? That seems like a, like a third place for me. I don't like this. I really don't like it. You really don't like it, okay. We might have to move them around. And I will eat butter straight. Dish lottery. There's one dish that is secretly decided to be the special dish, and whoever washes that dish at the end of the night gets out of cooking or washing dishes the following year. The whole year? Ooh. Who determines the No, at Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Who determines a special dish? <laughs> whoever won the previous year. But how do we start? But this implies that everybody's washing dishes. It should be you're sticking one person with washing the dishes, right? No, it, if everybody pitches in after Thanksgiving, it gets done so fast. So you you win the right to not wash the dishes. Yeah. By what? Is the special dish a dish that dissolves when the water hits it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or what? it's a little dish that grows into a, a sponge dinosaur. Oh, it's a little dish that becomes a big dish. But yeah. I'm not, I'm, so I'm gonna be washing all the little dishes. Every, everybody's washing dishes. And somebody's like, I just washed this dish and it turned into a dinosaur? <laughs> yeah. Is that what we're saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. It okay. got wet and it grew. Yes. So it's probably gonna be a pretty big dinosaur. It's gonna be about the size of a person probably. Who, how about whoever finds the porcelain shard doesn't have to wash the dishes the next year? That's a good prize. Like two for one? Yeah. Because this this has got some logistic challenges. Oh, now this is mixing it up. Ungratitude circle. Yep. After doing the traditional everyone go around the table and say one thing they're grateful for, everyone goes around the table and says one thing they aren't grateful for at all. <laughs> Can it be another person there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, ha it, it preferably it's very personal. Um, Ungratitude. That's fun. I. I mean, it's like an improv exercise. Okay, guys. Tell. I'm gonna go around and tell tell us one thing you're thankful for, and you, you can't repeat. But also something you're not grateful for. I like that. Do you still do the gratitude circle? Uh, no. No, we lost heart. Yeah. We lost heart. Yeah. I don't think it's a good practice to be grateful. Yeah. Gratitude's overrated. It's overrated. <laughs> you, you can't poop around it. I, you can't poop around it. 
I like this one. I, I think that one's in a good spot. Because it, it brings a little levity to the exercise that I like, like oh, come on guys. It does sound like to? you had a Thanksgiving in LA with like an improv group though. Yeah. Anybody doing that? It's just, you get a little pet peeve coming out there. I like that. What? So Friendsgiving. What, speaking of Friendsgiving, what is this? Friendship Re rekindling. Everyone calls someone they haven't talked to in more than 10 years. On Thanksgiving? Out, everybody's at the table? On the Spe phone? Everybody does it on a speaker. <laughs> everybody does it on a speaker at the table. That would actually be crazy. You had to call somebody you haven't spoken to in 10 years and everyone has to do it and it has to be on speaker for everybody. I like that. I like this that. is the best idea. I like that a lot. I like that. The best idea. And let's let's get everybody nice and sloshed before. before you gotta be completely hammered before you do it. Right. Because that's, all, that's how you have the courage to do it. Right. And finally, and we can reorder these, hat surprise. Names are drawn from a hat ahead of time and everyone brings a unique hat for their person to wear. Well, it, it sounds like a hat on a hat. To it's me. just hats. <laughs> okay, so you draw a name from a hat and then that name gives you a hat that they brought. You give that person a hat, I guess. I saw an article and it was a man in a fedora and the name of the article was Why No One Is Wearing Hats Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and you read it? No. <laughs> I feel like I got the message. Well, well, why? Why is no one wearing hats anymore? If they look like they did on this man. Oh, wow, poor guy. I don't know, but there's still. <laughs> why are we don't know why there's people not are a wearing lot of hats. hats? I mean, I see there's like baseball hats. People are still wearing that, but like, you know, hat hats. Like I've, I've tuned it down a little. Stevie, you had a lot of hats. I went through a hat phase. Why? Why? Why are you toning it down? Um. I, I don't know. No, I, I, I think I've toned my wardrobe down a little in general. I, I guess it's just, I'm just going through a phase. I don't know. Mm. Okay. Well, you're I, getting older. Yeah. Because sometimes you wear a hat and it's like, oh, that person wore a hat, you know, type of vibe. You're tired of that. Uh, it, it just feels more negative and positive now. I think that's a damn shame. Well, there's hat appropriate events. I wore a hat to the Wonder Hole. Premiere. Yes, you did. Because I was like, yeah. Yeah, because it might rain. It might rain. You knew it might rain. It wasn't a rain hat. Yeah, but uh, you'd rather have a hat than no hat if it was raining. Do we want to move hat surprise later? Because... I don't I don't like hat surprise. We, we're not big fans of wearing hats, the two of us, so um, to be forced to wear a hat, this has got to go low. I, I still don't understand the... I. I like the mechanism of not having to wash the dishes, but I just don't, the legit, I don't know how it's determined. I'm yeah, not, I think it's a little sponge plate. What if, it, butter what melting. if it's whoever poops out their key first doesn't have to wash the dishes? Yeah. Ooh, so you gotta let go of the chain. <laughs> whoever lets go of their chain. Whoever poops whoever out, pass, the, whoever passes their chain. You gotta pass the whole chain though. That'd be tough for me, I probably got extra length in there. You yeah. poop out the fob and then you have to, you gotta do it yourself? You give gotta pull the, pull give the it whole the old chain? Fob yank. And you gotta do it at the table on speakerphone. You can tell him to stop. <laughs> Come on, Stevie, try it. <laughs> Fine, we're gonna leave hat surprise where it is if that's all you're gonna do. If you're gonna be like that. Yeah, that's it. Shut your pile. <laughs> <laughs> Check out our newest special on the Mythical Society. Rhett, Link, and Stevie survive the apocalypse. Join now to watch.